Hello, this is Solar PV TV from SolarX 2016 from Istanbul. We are together with Ioannis, who is managing the activities of AppSolar in Middle East, but also here, of course, in Turkey. Hello, uh, merhaba. Merhaba. Thank you, Tomas, for uh, introducing me again to your uh, PV TV Solar and uh, giving me the opportunity to present AppSolar again. So, Ioannis, we met like, I don't know, four years ago, five years ago in Bulgaria and uh, you were quite successful in these Balkan markets. And uh, what about AppSolar now here in Turkey? How do you manage uh, your business here in the country? Uh, many things changed since uh, 2011. That was the Balkan Solar, I remember, in Sofia. Um, the technology evolved in a good way. We have uh, succeeded to many markets in the Balkans. Uh, I would say about Greece, we installed uh, most probably around 80 megawatts. So we took the opportunity to come to Turkey since the market started last year, try to make the same success. Uh, we have uh, in Turkey similar characteristic, like high solar radiation that we had in Greece. And we believe that uh, our business model is applicable to a market such as a Turkish one. So actually this project behind uh, was built also with AppSolar models, yes? Yes, actually this is a project uh, situated in um, Nefsihir, is in a city in the, um, let's say, central Turkey. It's the biggest um, project in Turkey. It's uh, 17 projects of 1.1 megawatt. That means in total 18.7 megawatts. We have done this um, during a Q2, so between um, June and December 2015. And we're very proud of it since uh, we supplied the biggest project in Turkey so far. So it seems that you are quite successful on the market. So how do you succeed to be present here with the Chinese products? Actually, that was uh, quite difficult. And uh, we based a lot uh, to persuade our uh, customers that we focus on the quality of our module. Uh, we are very transparent on our bill of material. And uh, we are in the market known for this. And because the Turkish market two, three years ago, when I first came in Turkey, didn't have uh, knowledge of, uh, of uh, how the technologies uh, like became a commodity. So uh, choosing a Chinese module is not such a big risk. Actually, it was uh, not that difficult. Since we did our first project, it was a 650 kilowatt in uh, close to Istanbul. Then uh, it was quite uh, easy for us to implement our strategy here. And uh, so far, since 2014, we installed uh, more than 35 megawatts in many different areas. So it means that you have around 9-10% of the market share, yeah? yeah? This is another nice question you make there. And actually, this is true. We, we have seen so far a lot of uh, Turkish mathematics. So uh, everybody says that uh, there are many, many megawatts installed in Turkey so far. I believe that the true number today is around 350 to 400 megawatts installed. So we're quite around 10% uh, of the market share today, which is, uh, let's say, very optimistic. We aim more than 5%, let's say, in the markets where uh, we are um, aiming. So I think that uh, in Turkey this year will be also a successful year for us. And I hope that generally the market will have a smooth, uh, let's say, increase of um, installed megawatts. So I, I assume that this project is helping also you when you speak with the new customers, yes? Yeah, it's true that uh, when you have done the biggest project in the country, uh, and uh, because we are not uh, the most known um, supplier around the world, uh, it's easier to make business. It's easier to call someone and say uh, we have the biggest project, we supply the biggest project in um, in Turkey. So we call them to visit the project with us. We go together. So I mean, uh, they take us more serious when they see a project like this, a project that uh, make also up solar being very bankable also in the country. So in terms of bankability, so you don't uh, face any problems here with your business model? No, so far we have worked with uh, most of the Turkish banks, so we are in their uh, whitelist. So you are also in charge of other markets, not only Turkey. I assume that you spent like 80-90% here in Turkey, but also could you tell us more how does it uh, look, uh, what is your forecast for other neighboring countries? Yeah, to be honest, uh, since uh, two, three years, we target a lot of uh, Turkish market. So we feel that it's going to be a boost general for the global markets are uh, in PV market. Uh, but 
generally I focus also Jordanian market. We have seen Jordan so much based a lot. They have also a feed-in tariff system. Uh, we are seeing right now Dubai, um, which is also becoming an interesting market since uh, they have already implemented a self-consumption system. There are some other markets that we feel that is going to come in the coming two, three years, like Abu Dhabi and the uh, general Middle East area. Also Egypt. Egypt is working also with the feed-in tariff system and tenders. So they have done already two cycles of tenders and we have seen uh, now the first project being realized. But you are also active on this market? Do you also sell or you are just observing? So to be honest, uh, so far we are focusing on the Turkish market and uh, this year is, let's say, a new start for us. We are uh, aiming and targeting Jordanian and uh, Dubai markets, Egypt as well, and we are uh, trying to still uh, develop our activities over there. So I'm traveling around and uh, hope that uh, in three years we will be able to have a new interview and talk about this market as well. Okay, so could you also tell me, uh, Johannes, a bit more about AppSolar because we didn't speak uh, quite a long time with uh, your colleagues also on other markets. How AppSolar is doing now with these dynamics on the market in other markets? So AppSolar is a company that uh, is now on the market since 2006. So we have uh, our birthday of 10 years so far. And uh, I think that uh, during these 10 years, we have shown to the market that uh, we really focus on the quality and we are very competitive on, uh, on the price. We try to be next to our customers, even though we have quit some markets, we are still there to support them, to support their claims and everything. So um, we follow the technology, we try to be competitive, we try to support the, the market, we try to, um, to persuade people that uh, our business model is, um, model is uh, quite sustainable. We don't block our money in a factory, so our business model is the same. We never uh, produce in our own factories. We are using other factories. We are controlling um, the quality of uh, the output, so the modules that are coming out. And we have uh, always using Bureau Veritas for uh, auditing the quality and uh, grounding a stamp like uh, confirming the quality of our modules. So you think that AppSolar will still remain on the solar market? I think that uh, AppSolar is doing quite good and we will be very, very active in the following years. Okay, so F. Harish <laughs> uh, Thank you very much for your Greek is still uh, perfect. Even though the Greek market is uh, not active since three years, that means you have a good memory. Yes, yesterday we spoke with Alexander Zahario from ah, Halabko. Yes, 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 yes. But maybe also Greek market will recover yeah, because there will be a new law. Actually, since uh, we have seen the new CEO of uh, PPC uh, in Greece, Mr. Panagiotakis, came through, and uh, we are seeing that uh, we are now very, very close to what it's called the grid parity. So uh, I think that net metering started already in Greece, and you know it's going very, very smoothly and slow for the moment. But there are uh, rumors about a new program of 100 to 200 megawatts is going to come in the coming months. Hopefully, I think that uh, it's good not only for Greece, generally it's good that uh, we see more and more PV in the, in the world. So you will have also opportunity to sometimes to come to your home, homeland, yes? Yes, for the moment I feel Istanbul is also a homeland for me. I even thought I'm, I'm Greek, I feel uh, like home in Istanbul, in Turkey. But of course, I'd like to, I'll be pleased to meet you again in Greece. Okay, so thank you very much once again and speak to you maybe next time on other fair in the Middle East or maybe in Greece, yes? Yeah, wherever, it's always a pleasure to see you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank that you. was Solar PV TV together with Johannes, who, managing, who is managing the activities of Solar in the Middle East and, of course, here in Turkey. Thank you so much. Okay.